This is a picture of Dan. This is a bamboo chopping board. Dan, 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 chopping board. Okay, so uh, the first thing we need to do to get our stuff ready for CNC is to process up the photograph. Now, the first thing we do is to zoom in on the section of the photograph that we're interested in. Um, so it's like so. And then what we do is we paint out the background. Now, there are many tools in GIMP for doing this. Uh, with special selection tools and so forth. What I ended up doing was actually using a brush of a certain hardness and then literally painting out around things by setting a brush size that's not so ludicrous um, and you would literally paint it in black and so forth and um, delete the background that way. So once that was done it looked something like that and then I realized that all of these reflections and things in the glasses were going to make that very spiky. So the next thing we did was I painted out some of those by using the clone brush inside GIMP uh, to copy them out uh, and to take off the bright spots and it looked like that. However, that still didn't help after I exported that into um, a toolpath. It still looked very, very lumpy indeed. Uh, here's a quick grab of that, superimposed on the picture, and you see it looks terrible. So after I'd done that, what I did next was I actually uh, painted out the lenses all together. Those are transparent now to allow something else to show through, and I found a spherical gradient and cut some bits out and put them behind this layer so that you had a spherical gradient to make nice smooth lenses and then I realized that the frames were still a bit lumpy so I zoomed in and colored them in with a uniform gray color and that is the final picture that I ended up feeding out into Cura. Okay we set the depth to six millimeters and we'll set the back board to be five millimeters thick. Uh, the width I wanted to be 160 millimeters and it automatically sets the height to keep it in proportion. I wanted the lighter parts to be the top of the cut and the darker parts to be the bottom of the cut. Uh, and then we say okay. And it's too big to fit on the bed so it draws it over here but that is the cut that it would that's the S, that's the S, uh, STL file that it makes from the picture and then we save that export as uh, a STL file binary give it a name something like that let's call it uh, video demo down to for STL save and then we would open that in Kirimoto next we run Kirimoto and we import the file there's the video demo and here is the STL suitably imported. It knows that it's six millimeters deep. All been set up by the Cura export. It's already set up with the appropriate parameters from when I actually processed it to do the cut. Uh, a 4.5 millimeter ball end cutter. A thousand millimeters per minute cutting speed, 2 mm step down per pass for the roughing and it steps over by half of the, the diameter of the cutter um, and for the contouring I'm contouring in the Y direction because that's the direction of the grain of the bamboo in the cutting board that I'm carving and it looks better that way um, 
I've left the flatness and the reduction as all default values and I've got inside only ticked. Over here uh, for the origin I've got the origin top so that the tool zero the, so that the Z zero is on the top of the workpiece and the X and Y zero are in the center of the workpiece. Um, and let's have a look at the toolpath. This is real time. And let's animate it. And run it. Speed that up a bit. It is nice that uh, the author of the software is actually built into it, the simulation. It's quite an astounding piece of work. It's marvellous to have a Camotics-like simulator built right into the software. It is superb. Must have been one heck of a lot of work to do this. It's amazing. And here's the contouring pass. Let's go to lightning speed. Ludicrous speed, as they call it. And there we go. That's the finished item. Now you can see that it's not ideal. But I was happy with that and went to the CNC machine.